Next up, representing Spain, Olivia Smart and Adrian Diaz. They teamed up in December of 2015. And they had the best showing of their partnership in Salt Lake City at the U.S. International Classic, where they finished fourth. Five, six, seven, eight, one, and the two, and the three. Five, and the six, and the seven. One, and the two, and the three, and the four, and the five, and the six, and the seven, and the eight. One, and the two, and the three. Five, and the six, and the seven. One, and the two, and the three, and the four, and the five, and the six, and the seven, and the eight. And the two. Right into their twizzle sequence. Very nicely executed, great unison. Not a lot of speed into it, but man, they were right together the whole way through. Now into their pattern dance type step sequence. These Latin rhythms are actually really difficult to perform because they require so much commitment to the, the performance. And they have to be a little bit over the top. If you ever watch Latin ballroom dancing, it is beyond energetic. Even when it's slow, it's slow with so much ferocity. So I want to see a lot more of that from these guys. A little bit too timid right now for my taste. and into their rumba pattern element. This step here, the Choctaw, outside edge, inside edge, looked pretty good. Has to be a wide step as well. Very difficult step to do properly. Nice entrance into this very low. Now that's what a sit position should look like. A little awkward on the exit though. Non-touching step sequence. Again, we're watching for those edges to be super clean. No scratching, no bobbles, no jumping on their turns. If snow flies, that is a, a signal to the technical panel that there was a little issue. And of course, some fun too. Adrian's seven years older than Olivia. He's got quite a bit of experience. He was a four-time Spanish national champion with his former partner, Sarah Hurtado, and they were the first ice dance team to represent Spain at the Olympics. They were 13th in Sochi, and she was born in Great Britain but got her citizenship, her Spanish citizenship, just this past summer. And that's huge. That's such a... It's a burden lifted off their shoulders because they know now they just have to qualify and they can make it to the Olympics at the same time. It does add a lot of pressure. So I think if that's what their goal is, which obviously it is, they're going to need to step up their performance. I want to see a lot more energy, especially from their faces and really, you know, burst out of their bubble a little bit more. So you talked about how difficult it is to ice dance to this rhythm. When they picked them, did you ever have a year where you said, oh no, not that. I don't want <laughs> to do that one. Um, maybe when they said it was uh, March and Polka, <laughs> I wasn't super excited about that Was year. it your power alley? Um, but you know what? You got to be, you got to be strong and wrong. <laughs> um, you know, it's just you, whatever they throw at you, that's, that's the beauty of ice dances. Um, you have to be versatile. You can't just be a one-trick pony. You have to be able to do these different rhythms. You have to show different characters. And uh, that's what's also really challenging about it. And, you know, I thought that they executed all their elements very nicely. Um, probably need to be a little bit cleaner in their, their non-touch step sequence. 
but really my biggest uh, issue was I just wanted to see more energy in their faces and their expression. Uh, they have to go 120%, and I felt like this was, you know, maybe 70% of what they can do. Here's their side-by-side, -side, non-touching step sequence, nice clean twizzles, watching their edges. That can be my next step. I'm sorry, that was their twizzle sequence, and that was very nicely executed. Looking for super cleanliness. His counter comes off that inside edge just before he turns. Those little details are things that the technical panel is looking at right now as we are, and they're reviewing to make sure that they give them the correct marks and the appropriate amount of points. Again, they had a nice start to the season in Montreal with personal bests, and um, they bested that by about three points. 64.34, that will put Spanish ice dance team in first place for the moment. Very nice start. Hola, Roman, Pascal, Sigi, Catherine, hola, todos.